The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has warned the Department of State Services, TSS, that the health condition of its detained leader, Mazi Namdekanu, is a red line that they must not cross. The spokesperson of the group, Ima Parafo, gave the warning in its statement issued on Friday. The pro Biafra group threatened that the peace in Nigeria would never remain should anything happen to their leader. Femi Felena News had reported that Ifani Ejefo, the lawyer to the IPOB leader, said Kano has been diagnosed with gastrointestinal disorder following persistent heartburn. The full statement read The IPOB leadership received very disturbing reports from our legal team about the deteriorating health of the great leader and prophet Mazi in Namikano inside DSS solitary confinement. Nigerian government, through their DSS, have refused Mazi Namikano access to his personal and professional physician for over a year now in contravention to court orders. The Nigerian government and the DSS is hereby notified that they are playing with an active volcano whose eruption will leave a trial of complete destruction should they continue on this path. And Mazenam the Canons is in any manner imparted negatively. Nigerian government must understand that because IPOP has remained peaceful even in the face of most unbearable provocations in the form of abductions, torture, secret disappearances, extrajudicial murders, in addition to the extraordinary redemption of our great leader from Kenya to Nigeria since June of last year, 2021. The Nigerian government and its agency called the DSS should very well known that the issue of Mazin Namdekanu's health, why in their core study is a red line they must not cross. This peaceful approach will never remain the same if anything untoward happens to him. We are telling you now that so that the international community will bear us witness that we want Nigeria before it and its torture agency, the DSS, commits an irreparable blunder. We want Nigeria to understand that Marzin Namdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is worth more than one million men, and this is a tip of what we shall sacrifice if anything unto what happens to Mazen Namdekano in your custody. Nigeria should be grateful for having a peace, loving freedom fighter like Mazen Namdekano, who has ensured that IPOP remained peaceful, even with all the unlawful arrests, detentions, and extrajudiciary executions of peaceful members of IPOP. We are arguing or urging the British Prime Minister and the High, Commis and the High Commissioner in Abuja, the United States of America President and U.S. Embassy in Abuja, Harmonized International Human Rights Watch Organization, United Nations, African Union, ECOWAS, Israel Prime Minister and Israel Embassy in Abuja, Russia President and Russia Embassy in Abuja, Germany Councillor and our Embassy in Abuja to compare the government of Nigeria to all conditionally release Mazin Namdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, or be prepared to repeat the genocidal war against Biafrans as it was in 1967 to 1970. Nigeria must agree on a referendum date with IPOP for the Biafran people to decide their fate and future. The time and era of impunity and imposition of external will on the indigenous people of Biafra 
has long gone and dead. We are aware that the issue of Biafra is among the, the tropical issues facing the international community and world leaders. The most important issue now is the release of our leader and paying him adequate compensation for the flagrant abuse and violation of his fundamental human rights and for the physical and psychological torture he has been put through these past months. If Nigerian government refuses to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and should anything wrong happen, the peaceful Biafra struggle will suddenly turn into a bloody revolution, and the Nigerian government should be held responsible in the event of this scenario. The Nigerian government should know that the gentle strips of a lion is not a symbol of timidity. He has said, okay, wow, uh, someone said uh, that Nigerian government will make the biggest mistake if anything happens to Mazen Namdekano. Don't mind all these useless agitators. Kano committed treason offense and uh, much face, he must face the consequences. These are reactions by Nigerians. IPOV is a criminal gang supported by their native gang. They are not government. Therefore, they should stop spreading such ethnic propaganda seeking to stop law from taking its own cars. Just as the bandits in the north are government assets and should be embraced with soft arm. Okay. Hmm. The DSS na beg, I de beg. Make una try advice on herself. Take care of Mazen Namdekano. Make peace for Kukumareno. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.